I mean, I have seen lots of butterflies, but they're both like colorful. So I have never seen any like butterfly which is transparent, right? Initially, in fact, I didn't notice it, but my wife noticed it. And she said that there's something there. But when it sits on the leaf, then you can really notice it. Like, oh, there's something. I am a graduate student in Professor Chu's lab. And for the past three years or so, uh, I've been working on a very small scale, micro scale uh, implant uh, that goes inside your eye to monitor pressure real time to better enable glaucoma therapy. To make this approach more practical, we have to make sure that the sensor becomes angle independent, which means we can shine the light at any angles into the sensor in the eyes and then collect the signal back from this sensor. Okay? But this is a very challenging task. This is something that is very difficult to overcome. The interesting thing about the glassing butterfly, it's literally transparent. So when you see into the scales, you will see like tiny billions of nanostructures, 50 times thinner than your hair, which makes the light transmit through it. And the same nanostructures give them this transparency. Also it can kill any bacterial cell which can grow on top of it so that it don't get any bacterial infection, for example. This is like perfect match, exactly what we need for our biomedical applications. We have to understand them, like why this nanostructure is creating all these fancy optical properties, right? So we put it on a scanning electron microscope, we uh, try study the nanostructural pattern on the, on the wing, then we brought this last wing sample into our optics lab here in our two lab. So we do all sorts of angular like optical properties, characterizations and try to understand like how it behaves then. So once we understood how the structure works, then we fabricate those nanostructures in the clean room facilities in KNI, it's Kavli Nanoscience Institute at Still. We used phase separation technique. Uh, we combined two different polymers and we spin them at a very high frequency on a flat substrate. So we're able to create a matrix of one polymer, which is perfectly flat and little ellipsoidal pillars of the second polymer to mimic the size and the spacing of the structures that were found on the butterfly wing. And we leverage a wetting technique that makes silicon nitride even more hydrophilic. We had 50 to 60 percent reduction in adhesion of cells and essentially achieved a different sort of anti-biofouling surfaces suitable for our application. So once we have it done in the clean room, we bring it here in our optics lab, we characterize the sensor for optical pressure sensing, and then once we are confident about the performance of the sensor, then we took the sensor to UCSF for implant. So what we have accomplished with a micro and nanotechnology inspired by these butterfly biophotonic structures is a sensor that can be used in everyday life. We envision that this sensor can be used by these glaucoma patients on a daily basis, possibly combined with their smartphones to improve disease management, the treatment, and reduce these blindness that's caused by the glaucoma.